And a story that is new tonight. We're talking about a poisonous plant that could be in your neighborhood. And if your pet eats one of those little pods mm -hmm. from that plant, your pet could end up dying. Yeah, the owner says uh, the pods blew into their yard during one of last week's big storms. Kim Powell is live tonight with what you need to be looking out for. Kim. Yeah, the plant is called the red giant castor, and it has pods that have beans inside of it that contain ricin. A vet I talked to says that the symptoms won't show up right away. However, only a small amount can be toxic or even deadly. Grace and Wilfred were the best of friends, according to their human, Janine Amity. Janine adopted Grace, and Wilfred was a foster in her rescue that she runs out of her house. Last week, when the monsoon storms rolled through, like many in the valley, their yard was a mess. We had, you know, just everything. Nothing came down, but there was just leaves everywhere. Like, it like, looked like a tornado had come through. But what they didn't know was now in their backyard were these deadly beans from a red giant castor inside spiky seed pods. Only a small amount can be pretty toxic. Um, it's, it's not a death sentence. Um, about 10% of dogs um, die or are euthanized because of this, but um, it is pretty serious. Dr. Rachel Chrysler said it's a fairly rare occurrence at a vet's office, which proved to be true for Janine. Wilfred threw up, but Janine didn't think much of it, not knowing that Wilfred ate some of the beans. I left for a doctor's appointment and came back at 12.15, and he vomited. He must have vomited again while I was gone, and Grace, I, she was eating it. And I was like, oh my, I can't come inside the house, and I was like, oh my gosh, like cleaning it up, looking. I don't really see anything in the vomit at all. Then he got sick again and again. And I was like, you know what? Did he eat something? Like, because he also had, like, his face um, looks a little like swollen, almost like he'd gotten into something. And I'm like, dude, what did you get into? And then I'm like looking and I'm like, wait a minute. Was it that thing? Like that thing that was so spiky? And I'm looking all over the yard. And I can't find any. Janine took both of them to an emergency vet and day after day, Wilfred and Grace's condition deteriorated. Wilfred and Grace both died at the vet's office. Janine found the red giant tree over the fence in her neighbor's backyard, who immediately removed the plant, not knowing it was so dangerous. They didn't know what it was, so, you know, and they feel horrible. Like, I mean, I, I don't blame them. It's just, I think for us, it's just very frustrating that, you know, we have control of what's in our yard in terms of like growing and knowing what's poisonous or not, but we don't have control of what's in other people's yards. And and Dr. Rachel Chrysler says that other plants found in Arizona can also be toxic to your pets, including oleander, sago palms, and lilies. The vet says that if you, if you believe that your pet has ingested anything that's poisonous, time is of the essence, and to call your vet or the ASPCA hotline right away. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.